Okay, while I had this computer apart, I figured I would do a quick video to show how you could add a uh, SD card reader and 56K modem to a Toshiba Satellite L355 S7915. Um, unfortunately, you will have to replace the motherboard. This uh, motherboard does not have the connectors. Uh, for the uh, 56k modem or SD card. Uh, if you could source the components yourself then you could add it, you could solder them in place. Um, but at any rate I have this already apart. You would just want to remove the motherboard. Right here is where Right here is where the uh, 56K modem plugs in. Uh, as you can see, the pads are there, but uh, the connector is not, and the, the two PEMs that uh, you screw into are also missing on this side. This white port here, uh, this white area, this is where the SD card reader uh, solders in. So, I have a... GL40 chipset motherboard out of a S7905 sitting here. Here's the SD card reader attached and here is the port for the 56K modem and the two PEMs. Um, for the SD card reader it's fairly easy. On the chassis it actually has the opening for the SD card it's just covered over by the by the sticker on the front. So all you have to do is take a razor blade and just uh, cut cut it open, and then you have the port to be able to put the SD card in, and take it out. So um, with that said, all you'd have to do is plug in the new board, and uh, load the drivers, and you'd be good to go for the SD card. Um, the 56K modem, it's actually pretty easy as well. Once everything's hooked back up, I'm not gonna hook everything up here because, you know, this video is just to show you what needs to be done. Uh, there's a port right here that has just a blank plug that pulls out. And all you'd need to buy is the, uh, the modem card and the plug. The plug slides into the port and you attach the wiring, plug it in. I would suggest putting either electrical tape or Kapton tape if you have it to uh, hold the card in place. There are two screws. Um, you can uh, source those locally. Um, they are pretty small screws that are needed. But once that's installed, uh, fire it up, update the drivers for it, and you should be good to go.